Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. We are joining from the Mobile World Congress 2024 in Barcelona. Now, I'm delighted to be joined by Suk Gan Chung, Chief AI Global Officer at SK Telecom. Hi, thanks for joining us today. Hi, thanks for having me here. So, SK Telecom unveiled a strategy to become an AI company back in 2022. How is this work going? Yeah, we announced the AI pyramid strategy and so I'm from at this mo at that moment we started some internal capacity development so we would develop our own LLM and the, after then we uh, made a few, uh, few progress uh, from the uh, by collaborating with the outside so one is that we are investing on uh, anthropic and working together with them and also we are working together with open AI and hyperscale companies to collaborate and uh, uh, using their technology for our uh, internal transformation and also we were uh, working together with peer telco companies and making global telco AI alliance. Yesterday we just announced our terms of signing with them to make a joint venture together. So maybe uh, during this year we finalize the founding the company together and we'll unveil um, our commercialize the telco LLM together with them. And have you come across any challenges on your journey to become an AI leader and how do you tackle them? Uh, well, uh, when we uh, talk about the AI, uh, we need to uh, persuade our internal organization, internal uh, employees why we have to do this kind of AI or new uh, business model from the telecom industry. So we, uh, it's very challenging to change our culture to think about the new technology. And also, when we are making this alliance together with other telcos, we have to uh, also do similar one, so why we need to develop AI by ourselves and, uh, and uh, we, uh, by, uh, uh, as well as the uh, working together with other global tech companies and also we need to make our own effort to have our core assets. So that's another challenge we have to handle with other techers. And can you share a bit about some of the hottest AI developments you are working on right now? Well, well, yeah, we are we are working on AI for uh, increasing our internal efficiency. So that's why we are bu building Telco LLM together with other uh, alliance members. Other than that, we are working on uh, making our own AI assistant service, so called ADOT in Korea. So we want to redefine our relationship with our customers with the new technology like AI. So we were building AI assistant service and helping our subscribers daily lives. And also we want to make a new business model uh, beyond the telco uh, existing business. And what kind of um, impact do you expect the AI strategy to have on the financial performance of SK Telecom? Yeah, so we, we are looking AI technology on the two different ways. One is to, uh, one is the AI can increase our internal efficiencies. And so that definitely uh, cut the cost of our operation. You know, telecom has a huge cost, uh, uh, invest, uh, spending huge cost for uh, operation like a customer service or network monitoring. So if we successfully apply AI technology on that use cases, it definitely increase our, uh, decrease our cost. And also we want to redefine the business model. So, you know, telecom industry is very much the stage, so it's very challenging to increase the number of subscribers and also uh, increase the revenue per user. So by applying AI and by introducing new uh, service like the AI assistant, we want to make a new business revenue stream uh, from that new, uh, from the new services. And there have been some concerns related to AI driven automation impacting jobs, but also even concerns that technology can be a threat to humanity altogether. How, what is your response and how could you address such scenarios? Okay, so when we uh, working together with our customer service agent, we found that you know, retaining people, retain human agent is very challenging. Their turnover rate is very high. So whenever we hire new employees for uh, our customer service, it's very expensive to train them for letting them understand our business logic. So rather rather you know cutting our human resources we want to help them to onboard their new employees to understand our business logic and also we want to helping them help them to uh, 
uh, remove more tedious job, repetitive job by helping them with the AI. And also we can uh, make their extra time. Uh, we can help them uh, spend their, uh, their time more, uh, better, better job to handle more customers. So they can spend the time for helping our you know, customer to have better service. So that would be another way we are thinking about customer service automation. And that makes sense. And finally, is SKT participating in any initiatives related to AI ethics? Yeah. So when we come talk about uh, ethics or responsible AI, we, may, we think uh, privacy is a very important thing. We are handling very private, most you know, important private data from our customers. So when we make uh, AI, we have to think about that in you know, privacy issues. So that's why we had some you know, global telco AI round the table yesterday and sharing what I've done for protecting uh, privacy when we are doing AI services. So Gun, thank you very much for joining us. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much.